You might be asking yourself, uh, what kind of gear does a Tough Mudder need to be successful? And I'm not sure if I'm the uh, definition of success, but I did make it through without getting injured last time, which for me <laughs> is success. So uh, first thing you need is your uh, death waiver. This is the document that basically, uh, it's about three pages, holds uh, Tough Mudder uh, non-liable if you uh, dislocate an arm or break a bone or shatter your spine or anything like that. And uh, I got a little power bar, performance energy, take your pick. I like peanut butter. Uh, a little emergency, a little vitamin C boost, some other vitamins there, a little energy. I've got these uh, to funny looking toad socks. Now, I don't normally wear these, but I wore them last year and I didn't get any blisters, so I'm going to I'm gonna take them again. Deodorant, you don't want to stink. I mean, you're going to look bad already, so you don't want to stink. This stuff is key. Body Glide, anti-chafe, that's the good stuff. Put that on, uh, put that on your heels, put that uh, on your nipples, put that uh, between your thighs, uh, elbows, knees, anywhere you want a little extra layer of skin, this stuff will get you there. Monster Energy Drink, a little pre-race boost. These are new this year. I, I'm trying some different gloves. They're the, uh, I don't know if you can read that, but they're the Mad Grips, and uh, they're kind of rubbery. We'll see how it works. I wanted some Solomon Speed Pros, uh, but I had to settle for the New Balance uh, trail running shoes, 710s, and I've been pretty happy with them. Uh, so far, the Solomons just were not wide enough for my fat feet. Uh, I've got a uh, Under Armour compression shirt. Uh, it's like an extra layer of skin for your arms so they don't get ripped up on all the obstacles and uh, mud and dirt. Got our team shirt here, Team El Toro, and on the back we have got uh, Deuteronomy 31.6a. Be strong and courageous, do not be afraid. I need that right now. Sponsored by uh, designextensions.com. Shameless plug. Uh, last, but definitely not least, you're going to want some compression shorts. If you're not wearing compression shorts, even with your body glide anti-chafe, your legs are probably going to get chafed up pretty bad. And uh, after 12 miles, you don't want that. And then there's just some light, uh, dry fit pants that uh, work pretty well. So that's my gear. Uh, I don't know what you're wearing, but um, it's worked pretty well for me last year. So I'm hoping it holds up for me this year. Check in with y'all later.